Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you a sit down trick. It's a very basic trick but very important at the same time. It's called the X over. Okay, so as you can see it's a very simple move but it is very important. It's going to build your sit down combos and make them brilliant. So it's very important. Okay, so step one, you have to be able to juggle cleanly and properly. Um, I've already made a sit down juggling tutorial, so if you haven't already checked that out, go check that out. Um, I'd suggest that you really be able to nail uh, at least 100 sit down juggles before you even attempt to start any tricks. It's just going to help with your control and your style later on, so yeah, practice your juggles first. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Um, kick the ball up with your strong foot, and you're going to cross your feet like this. Keeping your feet rel relatively uh, fat, flat to the ground. Um, yeah, just cross them over. The ball's going to go up slightly higher than you'd normally kick it. Um, and then you're going to take a touch with your strong foot, bring your legs back apart again. So it's just this kind of movement, like that. Okay, so after a bit of practice, um, you might want to be able to do two juggles with an X over. So kick the ball up, cross your feet, one, two, and back again. And keep doing that, then do three, four, try and do as many as you can. Uh, doing that is just going to help you uh, get used to your legs crossing like that, and it's also going to help your touch. So, yeah, that's a good way to practice it. Okay, so if you've nailed it with your strong foot, you can do it, you know, most times and keep it controlled. You want to try and learn it with your weak foot, and obviously, it's just going to be the same thing, but the opposite foot, okay? So yeah, use the same techniques, um, it's pretty simple. Once you've got it with your weak foot, then you can start doing X over to X over, switching feet. Now it's a little bit more harder, but it looks great, and um, yeah, this is what that looks like. So like I said before, um, you just want to try and string like two of these together at first just to get used to it. Um, then try and get three, four, five. Um, it's pretty simple, but it looks great. And if you keep it controlled, that's when it looks really good. You don't want to be moving your upper body all around the place, you know, when your arms firmly down, your feet right in the middle. Don't be swinging around like this because then it looks sloppy and uncontrolled. If you can keep it controlled, it looks really effective. And that's going to help you with all your sit down tricks. Try and keep it so controlled. That looks good, okay? So that's about it for the uh, tutorial for the X over. Like I said, it's very simple, but it's the foundation of your sit down, so practice it hard, keep it controlled. Um, I'll be back with another tutorial soon, so check out the website, lensfreestyle.com. Uh, thanks for subscribing, blah blah blah. I'm just talking way too much now. <laughs> thanks, peace.